Hi, this is Ricky, and check out my C20T gimbal. I guess it's the 3-axis gimbal. It looks like it's the Watsnail rebranded this as the GM3 gimbal. I can look down or I can look straight up. I can almost look behind. So it goes left and right. And then if you look, it does a fantastic job of stabilization. So I had to update to iNav 8.0, the release candidate. So this is gonna be the Maiden, and let's see how well it does. All right, this is iNav 8, release candidate two. All I did was copy my diff over from 7.1 the gimbal added about 30 grams of weight, so I was curious to see how well the auto launch would do. So I didn't have my goggles on at the time, and as soon as I threw it, it wasn't climbing very high. And if you look at the auto throttle, it's set to 68. On my diff with iNav 7.1, it would launch at 80% throttle. So I ended up taking it over manually and flying it around, and it was acting weird. Um, so I don't know, actually, I, I do know, I think the weight of the gimbal affected it and it may have changed the tune and I was running iNav 8.0. So here you can see how well the gimbal handles stuff, but you notice it's kind of windy. It's getting knocked around. And the other thing is it's not going very fast if you look at the airspeed. So it's kind of mini stalling. Um, the wind usually bounces it around and I don't have crazy performance, but see, there was a stall right there. So I just wasn't 100% happy with how it was flying. So I went ahead and brought it in manually like I typically do. It was still rock solid. I was able to grease in the landing. But one thing that I noticed is the OSD disappearing. And because the OSD is recorded on the VTX, this surprised me. And the other thing is, after I land, it didn't detect the landing, so I had to disarm with the switch. So that was weird to me. So I tried to change the settings using the SpeedyB app, but because I am on 8.0, that didn't work. So I went home changed the auto launch to 80% throttle and I adjusted my nav cruise up some and here you can see it's set to 80% it's taking off normally it's it's still a pig like I said that gimbal added about 30 grams of weight so instead of being around 590 grams now it's like 618 but after I get up here Typically, I have it set to loiter mode, but I kept it to manual just in case I needed to take over. Um, but as soon as I switch into cruise mode, I can already tell it's flying a lot better. Even though the airspeed and um, ground speed are still fairly low, that's just kind of how, how this flies. I don't need a speed demon. I'm only running three cells on it. Um, but the auto throttle at 60% seems to compensate well for the added weight. Um, I notice it's not dropping in the turns like it did the previous two flights. And when I went home before I made some changes, I noticed that iNav release candidate three was out. So I went ahead and put that on it. Loiter mode is usually my litmus test to see how well things fly. And um, the previous flight, before I made the adjustments to the um, cruise throttle, uh, it was struggling to maintain altitude in the loiter mode. And there you saw that it was doing well. I love how much the gimbal can rotate. It's just nuts how far I can see behind me. Um, I really need to get the head tracking going with my avatar goggles. Um, I have the latest batch from November that's supposed to have the built-in head tracking, but I can't get it to work either via the um, PPM signal going to my transmitter. I can't see anything. Um, maybe I don't have the right cable and um, I can't get it working with the wireless head tracking piece. I guess it's the PZT. 
Um, I don't have the avatar, the V2 video transmitter. I have the little race one that's, um, I guess, the, the one cell that, that has the case on it. Um, that's what is on pretty much every plane that I have because I think that that works fantastic. Um, I have the gimbal hooked up to a UART on the flight controller, and I have a the flight controller hooked up to a UART. So it should be passing the signals back and forth, but it might be because I don't have the V2 um, transmitter. But after this flight, I was really pleased. It's kind of back to normal. Um, so I guess I'm just going to wait for the official release of iNav 8. Um, here's the other thing I noticed. Um, I'm going to come in to land. Every other flight that I've had with this, and there's YouTube videos of, of me with mine, my altitude would be in the negatives already. So in this case, I noticed that the altitude pretty much was spot on. So it was at zero and the OSD dis didn't disappear. Um, other than right there, it didn't stay on for very long, um, my stats. But so far, I'm really, really pleased. I love the gimbal. Hope you enjoyed the video.